So those of you that follow this channel, you know that earlier this year that I did a video on East Columbus, East Palestine, I'm sorry, East Palestine, Ohio, where that train derailed. And then the powers that be, the authorities that exist, they decided, hey, let's light all these toxic chemicals on fire. And the result's going to be catastrophic, you know. Go back and find that video on my channel. I break it down, you know, the toxicity and how for many decades to come, it's going to kill people, give them cancer, people and their descendants, okay? And it was all intentional. And I would, I would also like to posit this, that uh, I remember many years ago, maybe 10 years ago or more, I can't remember, that uh, some train de derailment devices, which they do exist, train derailment devices, which they use, you know, the railroads use to take trains on and off the tracks. Well, they, they were stolen. I can't remember if it was like five or 10 or whatever, but anyway, but those things can be used over and over because they're, they're made of solid steel and they're very strong. So, uh, put two and two together, by the way. So today, today, right about noon central time, a train car carrying toxic perchloric acid explodes in Nebraska rail yard. Evacuation orders issued for four mile radius as huge plume of smoke, smoke fills the sky above North Platte. So why are they attacking the central area? Why is this happening in the central area of the United States? Because all the rivers flow down south, folks. All the rivers, the major rivers, most of them in central and eastern parts of the United States, they flow to the Mississippi River, the Great Mississippi. So it's going to poison everything from wherever it's spilled all the way down, and not to mention what burning in the air does. Authorities are asking people living near the railroad in North Platte, Nebraska, to evacuate. After a rail, rail car carrying perchloric acid exploded. Yeah, it just spontaneously exploded in a rail yard. Yeah. So the last time they caught a lot of flack for burning the, the shit on purpose, but now it just spontaneously exploded. Folks, I've looked into this chemical, perchloric acid, and it does not spontaneously explode. It has to have a catalyst, a start. You know, a match that, that lights the shit off. Footage near the city shows toxic white smoke billowing into the air. Remember the last one in East Palestine was black smoke. As emergency teams try to contain the blaze, of course. Well, anybody that's near that smoke, they're, they're going to freaking die. But good luck finding that on the, the mainstream news. The fire erupted inside a stationary rail card situated at the Union Pacific Railroad Yards, which is the largest railroad yard in the world. Okay, so that railroad yard will be shut down indefinitely. Guarantee you because of the toxicity. All according to design, folks. Largest railroad yard in the world. I can't verify that, you know, but do I need to? Evacuate everybody. It's an emergency. You know, just stop right here and listen to me for a second. Hundreds, folks, not dozens. I'm talking about hundreds. That the information's been suppressed in, in social media and on the internet since 2020, especially. For years, we've had food, 
processing plants burn down. We've had, even just recently, there, there's another one in Louisiana, uh, uh, you know, a refinery catches fire and burns down. You know, refineries are the lifeblood of our society. No gas, no diesel. If there's no refineries going up to par and, and spilling out, you know, the fuel that we need to, to make society function. Many food plants, processing plants, warehouses, many, many chicken farms, which is the cheapest source of protein you find, egg farms, turkey farms. The list goes on and on. And even hard assets, you know, like Wood supply warehouses, chemical supply warehouses, just amazingly just all started to burn down since 2020. Hmm. Well, there's an agenda. You and I know what it is. And it's called the smart cities. They want to, to burn you out cut off all supplies of any resources you might have or be able to buy, have a digital uh, central bank digital currency and force you to accept the new system that ha they have coming, all under the guise of saving the environment, which the environment is not in danger and there is no global warming, but they want to instill that fear into the dumbass population making them think there's a crisis. They've been doing this since the 70s, folks. The 70s. Research it. Making you think there's a world crisis, overpopulation, global warming, climate change. Bullshit. My ass. It's all satanic lies. But the, the goal is to de depopulate the earth and, you know, exterminate you and execute you at, at their leisure because they're satanic, just like their handlers and the evil spiritual forces that exist in the world, folks. North Platte Volunteer Fire Department announces they would order those living in the area to evacuate due to the toxic smoke from the railroad. Yeah. Because you don't want a lot of people on the news that take a few breaths of this toxic shit and they they collapse and die on the spot. Because, folks, I'll show you in a minute how strong these fumes from this chemical are that are burning. Heavy toxic. You think East Palestine was bad? Look at this. Perchloric acid is a mineral acid with the formula, whatever, usually found as an aqueous solution. This colorless compound, that's why there's no black smoke, is a stronger acid than sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and hydrochloric acid. Folks, you, you people that are my age and older, you remember in science class in school, how dangerous hydrochloric acid was. It will burn the hell out of your skin and sulfuric acid. It's stronger than that. And if it burns, it's absolutely lethal to inhale that shit. It's a powerful oxidizer when hot. Oh yeah, it's, it's burning. Okay, but anyway, that's enough of that scientific bullshit. You, you you get get the picture, you know. I don't need to go into all this details, but I will say this that perchloric perchloric acid is mainly produced as a precursor to ammonium percolate perchlorate, which is used in rocket fuel. Okay. That's real good for you. Inhale some burning rocket fuel. That will do wonders for your health. You know, folks, we are being assaulted in all fronts. And, you know, you got you to gotta wrap your mind around this fact that, you know, 
if your hope is to survive in the coming years during this great tribulation and this culling of humanity, you're in for a great big disappointment. You got to come to grips with that. And, and what the Bible says, the scriptures say that if Christ had not shortened the days, days, no flesh would be saved. No flesh would be left alive. Just accept it. I, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go meet my maker. But this poisoning of humanity and the culling of humanity and reduction of the population through many, many different clandestine means is deliberate, folks. The evil spiritual powers that be hate human beings because we are destined to rule and reign in the new heavens and the new earth, according to the Bible. Yahweh bless all of you.